now we have learned about marginal product of labor and average product of labor now let's talk about something called the law of diminishing marginal return in our example we started with a production function where we had two inputs capital and labor and q output is given as a function of k and l and what we said that we talk about production in one variable and we explained it in two ways either really that one way to look at it either that capital is fixed or second way to look at is that yeah. capital is absent that we are we are not able to vary capital for whatever reason and one reason that I gave you was that we are talking about short run ok fine. So, now still let us keep the capital fixed and let us keep on increasing the L ok. What would happen to the MPL marginal product of labor decrease not necessarily not necessarily it would decrease it would increase look at it look at it it is increasing and then it starts decreasing. So, we do not know what would really this is just an example it may so happen that it would start decreasing right in the beginning but that is that does not happen in most of the cases, but what is almost certain and we take it as law that if we keep on increasing the L, if we keep on increasing the L, then eventually, eventually not I am saying right from the beginning, eventually that MPL will start decreasing ok. Yes, so, what we can say that if the quantity of quantity amount of 1 input is kept on increasing if the amount of 1 input is kept on increasing while keeping the amount of of all others all other inputs fixed ok. The increment in the output not the total output the increment in the output increment in the output will eventually start decreasing. Is it clear? So, pay attention here what I am saying not the output, but increment in the output. In other words, if we keep on increasing let us say in this example we have only two factors of production capital and labor and let us say that we keep the capital fixed and we keep on increasing the labor. So, eventually the increment in the output with respect to labor what this is what basically MPL, MPL eventually will start start decreasing fine is it clear? Uh, sir one question yes is this diminishing marginal product uh, diminishing rate of uh, diminishing marginal returns law. Huh. The that law of diminishing uh, marginal returns return. is only valid for labor. Uh, labor. No, for any any. That's why when I gave you the definition, what did I say? If the quantity of one input is kept on increasing, uh, so, so I'm not saying it is true for only this production function. Take any production function where you may have more than two factors of production, and you keep the value of all the label of all the factors of production fixed ok and keep on increasing just one input eventually the incremental output would start decreasing 
or in other words the marginal product with respect to that input will start decreasing eventually not necessary see what is the reason take an example of this labor and capital now you have a lab where you have five computers let us say you have zero labor in the beginning no no production now you bring one worker one software engineer and then of course you will have some output so output will start increasing if you bring two probably those two can collaborate together and rate of increase would even go up so output may start increasing at increasing rate because i am just making it up a story okay let me complete and then you add on more workers more workers probably at 5 or maybe let us say they can do 2 shift. So, 10 people can use 5 computers or maybe 3 shift 15 people can use 5 computers. So, it may keep on increasing at increasing rate, but eventually maybe at 5, maybe at 10, maybe at 15, maybe at 12, we do not know that yet. I am not making any comment about it, but eventually it will start decreasing. Why? Because other inputs are fixed while we are crowding out one particular input. So, th that input would not be able to use other inputs efficiently and that is why the marginal product with respect to that input will eventually start decreasing. You had a question. Uh, no, sir. Wo eventually, it. eventually actually it was Haan. actually I was putting an example like if there were fo four laborers like Facebook is a company. Haan. He has four experts it has four experts in computing now they are working on four computers right now if they keep on adding cpus and adding memory and adding capital then their output would certainly increase Haan, may increase but, but eventually eventually, eventually hmm. adding one more unit of cpu would not help anymore hmm. okay so eventually i'm not making any comment about what would happen in the middle in between but eventually it would start decreasing not output necessarily maybe in some cases output will also start decreasing but this statement is not this law is not about decrease in output this statement is about decrease in incremental output this statement is about rate of change in output with respect to one particular input would start decreasing so in this graph this is what we are talking about if you pay attention here, this is what we are talking about that look at it, this graph has already become 2. So, here it is increasing, but at this point or beyond this point, the marginal product of labor starts decreasing. I am not talking about this point, I am not talking about that output starts decreasing beyond this, I am talking about that marginal product of labor starts decreasing beyond this or beyond this point certain points ok fine is it clear yes, sir. ok now what happens of course the label let us say let us say this is the MPL of course I am using basically I am using labor and as, as an example for an input you can have a different input ok and here you have MPL and of course, here you have kept the K equal to K naught. What will happen if you increase K to K plus 1? Let me write it here. What will happen to MPL? Again, this is a hypothesis I am saying probably increase. it will increase maybe this point will shift here, maybe it you would have something like this or maybe you will have something like this or maybe you will have something like this. So, we cannot say what we are talking about that keep we are not jumping from this when we are making this statement or we are when we are talking about this law, we are not jumping from this MPL curve to this MPL curve. We are we are keeping the other inputs fixed. So, eventually it starts decreasing here, it starts decreasing here that is what we are talking about fine. 
is it clear okay